Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And on this video, I want to show you something that just happened to me with the Galaxy J7. Uh, it's not turning on, guys. And what happened with this phone is that I let it die, the battery die, and I forgot about this phone like for a month. And then when I try to charge it and use it, the screen is black and nothing comes out. But I know that it's on because when I connect it to the power supply, let's see if I can hear it. Let me see, guys. I'm gonna connect it to the power supplies and you might hear a sound. Look at this, hold on. Okay, so it goes on top. Look at this. You see, you, you heard that? Yeah, so you heard that sound, right? Also, if I connect it to the computer, we're gonna see some kind of pop-up. Let's see that. You heard that little sound on the phone? Nothing is happening, right? Oh, look at this, you said could not connect to the device, all right? So this phone is, is, is on and I already fully charged it. So one way to, to fix it, I'm getting some errors here. One way to fix it is if we press the volume down button and power and we wait until we see the Samsung logo. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. Power, volume down, hold it until you see something. It says that you should try this at least five times. And if it doesn't work, try it again and again until it works. So I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. Okay, guys, so I have my PC computer. This is a Lenovo Ideal S145. It's an AMD A6. And you can see that the refresh rate is pretty bad. But uh, what we want to do is we want to connect this phone to the computer to see if we get any reaction from the phone. Hello guys, how you doing? Do you remember this video I did about the Samsung Galaxy J7 crown? So guess what? The screen is black, even though I tried to use it. What happened is I stopped charging it for a month and it looks like the battery needs to uh, reset or something. But since you cannot take the battery off, there's something going on there, guys, that I cannot fix out. So I'm gonna try to connect the phone to the computer to see if I get any anything. Let's see. Okay, I heard a little beep on the phone, but nothing else, right? They call this problem the Samsung black screen of death or something like that. But um, what they say is that you need to press the power button and the volume down until you see the logo, the Samsung logo. So let's try that guys, power and volume down. Let's see if we get anything. Okay, it says could not connect to the device on the computer. It's gonna release it. So let's try it again, guys. Hey guys, and finally I was able to make this phone work, at least seeing this screen, right? I have another J, and this is the J, uh, J3, and this one, I can do the same thing. Look, I can go power and volume down. And that's how you that's how you reach this screen. And this is the all right. So I have both phones. This is the J3 and this is the J7 on the maintenance boot mode. All right. But in order for me to get into this, I have to press power and volume down for a lot of times, maybe five times in a different places, with and without this cable. So you need to try a lot of things, guys. If you have the black screen of that, if you have a problem with your Samsung phone and you have the black screen and it's not responsive. My advice is you to try that, guys. Power, volume down, hold it until you see this or you see the Samsung logo, all right? Um, I mean, it took me a long time, guys. I was reading a lot of tutorials. I connected to the computer. I tried to use uh, minimal ADB, but uh, nothing works until I just try this, the power and the volume down, hold it together for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and then I got this, which is what I got here too, you know? So in this one, I just gonna put reboot normally. And on the Samsung's, you don't do it with the power, you do it with this, with the home button. Okay, so this is gonna re reboot normally, J3V. And I hope the same thing happens on this one. You know, I'm gonna cross my fingers and let's do that, guys, look. 
I hope, I hope, I hope. Yes! Guys, I'm telling you, I'm so happy because I was trying at least half an hour, 20 minutes. I was trying doing anything, you know, um, and finally it works. They say it's a glitch on the firmware, some kind of BS like that. But um, yeah, guys, I was able to do it. So I'm really happy about it because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put WhatsApp here and I'm going to try a software how to move WhatsApp from the Android device to the iPhone. Okay, and look at this. Now on the computer, I can see this. And how about here? Oh, here I don't see anything. It actually reboot the phone from zero. So let's let's configure this, guys, really quick. You see, an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings. Connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. Look at that, guys. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Took a lot of tutorials, a lot of trial and errors, but at the end, the same answer that all the videos give you at the beginning, which is power, volume down, hold it for 10, 20, 30 seconds. That's the stuff that worked. After five tries, six tries, I don't know, 10 tries, try it until it works. Okay, so I'm connected to the Wi-Fi now, and I'm gonna set up this phone really quick, all right? I have this problem because I let the phone die with the battery in zero for a month. And then I decided to turn it on, and it didn't work. So we're gonna keep with the configuration, okay? I'm just gonna skip this Google account. Oh, look at this. This device was reset to continue signing a Google account that was previously synced on this device. So maybe that was the problem, guys. I tried to restart it and I have my Google account. So let's see if this is gonna work. So this is the security. Look, the previous Google account on this device has been verified. You can add to Amigo Alex back to this device or you can use a new account. So this is the security measures that Google takes in order for people just not to, let's say, steal or if they find a, a phone, they just reset it and they can use it. No, they are required you to sign in with the previous Google account. All right. So I'm just going to say use at previous account, the account that I used to use on this phone, and it should work. No backups found. Look at the next. Protect your device, not now, thank you. Skip, anyway. Backup, help apps find location, improve location accuracy, use send and diagnostics data. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this. Backup to Google Drive, accept. Google Assistant, look at this guys. Google Assistant is gonna track all my history and I'm gonna say no thanks because I don't want Google to track everything I do. Can restore it, there aren't any backups available on your other device, okay? I don't care about restoring, I just want to use this. It's a review additional apps and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deselect all of those and I'm gonna keep the Google app. Sign into your Samsung account, I said, I really don't want to use a Samsung account. I never got a Samsung account, to be honest. Skip. Okay, I'm going to skip. Finish. All done. Allow access to phone data. Allow. Now I'm going to turn on the brightness. Where's the brightness, guys? Come on. Give A. Here you go. Boom. Auto brightness never. Yes, look at that guys, now it's bright. And it's doing some updates, you know, Google Play Store always do updates and stuff. But I'm so happy that I got my phone back for real guys, I thought I lost it. Because they say some of the reason that the screen goes black is when you drop it or you get water damage, then you need to replace the screen. So I was wary about that. But look at that, 100% of battery, 73 degrees guys how's the weather in your city okay 73 degrees for lauderdale all right guys so this is a beautiful thing i'm still doing some updates and i think that concludes the tutorial how to fix the black screen of death in the samsung device basically the method that worked for me was power and volume down hold it for 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever it works. Do it five times, six times, and eventually it will work, guys. A quick thing, all right? Because when you do this power and volume down, what you're doing actually is just trying to reset the phone. I'm gonna do it here. Power and volume down. Let's see what happened, right? This is what happened, guys. This is what happened. So when we do this to get back from the, the screen of death, what we're accessing is this, but we don't see it. We don't see it. And uh, 
probably by mistake we select factory reset but we have a google account tied to the phone that's why when i finally was able to save the phone they asked me for my previous google account okay and that's what happened guys in this case i'm just gonna reset the phone normally and again you do it with this button not with the power but with this one and it's gonna reset right there it's gonna reset and i'm gonna keep using my phone all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you want to help my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys so every time i upload a new video you will get a notification and an email about it and in that way you also support my channel so i can continue uploading videos for you thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next one have fun bye